Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com and today I want to go over something with the Garmin InReach Mini 2. You can see I have another device here. This is the Garmin eTrex SE and I just did a video on it. But what I want to do right now is I want to look at navigating with the Mini 2, specifically starting navigation in the Explore app. Because the last time I was out here, I was navigating both with the Mini 2 by itself and in the Explore app. But when I started navigating in the Explore app, I could not see my tracks, trails, anything on the Mini 2 on the device itself. So that's what we're going to test right here. I already created a course when I was testing this eTrex out here. So we're going to go into the Explore app. And you can see the course I just created. It's in blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my library and you can see there's activities, waypoints, routes, courses. So I'm going to go on, hit course. And this is a course I just created today and it's, it was just June 6th. I didn't rename the course. So I'm going to click on that and you can see more details here. And I'm going to hit go. I'd really like to go in reverse. Let's see, does it allow me to go in reverse? It's not really saying that. If I click on the Mini 2, now it says enable tracking. I'm not going to enable tracking. Ah, oh, well, let's do it anyway. Let's get used to doing that. Oh, there was a skip. I could have skipped it. And then there's additional devices, start all. Well, sure, let's start all. All right, so my course shows up magenta in front of me. I can go now and, and easily on this device, then follow it. It's in color. My other courses I've been on out here are in cyan or tracks, and then this one here is in magenta. All right, what I really want to know right now is, can I see it on the Mini 2? And right now I can't. So I'm gonna hit OK, and I'm gonna go down to navigate. Well, see, this is where it says stop navigating. I don't want to stop navigating. I want to see the map. And if I go down through all the menu items here, I, there's just nothing I see that says to show me the map. I have one other idea here in a second. Let me, I just hit on settings and I'm gonna go down to map. But I know that's not gonna do anything for me because that's just going to give me my map settings and it does says waypoints show map labels show so that's not what i want so i'm going to get all the way back out now in this case here i'm going to hit the up and down up or down arrow and so this says messages arrived it says arrived it says i'm already at the end and it says navigating track back or tracking and see if I hit navigate. Okay, this is how you do it. I, now I'm a little bit farther out, so I'm gonna hit okay and I'm gonna just pan zoom in. So if you wanna zoom in, you hit the plus or uh, negative arrow here to zoom in. So I'm gonna zoom in a little closer. Now it doesn't show my course right now because it basically stopped me navigating because I didn't navigate in reverse and I'm at the end of this course. I didn't see how to navigate in reverse when I was on the Explore app. I can navigate in reverse on this, but this is what I really wanted to know today. And so if I get out of this real quick, let's go back out. So now I'm at the home screen where it just has the time. Again, I could either hit up or down arrow. This time we're gonna hit up. Maybe I hit up last time. So it says messages. And then if I can arrow down, taking a screenshot there, I can arrow down, well, let's see, go back up. I'm gonna, oh, so I have to keep going up. There's weather navigation yeah so navigation and if i hit on navigation here then it comes this time here because i'm not navigating right now it says tracking updated and then we're going back down here to navigation maybe i hit the wrong button there i think i hit the up arrow and said okay so right there so i hit okay and it shows my location on the screen that's how you do it if you start navigating by the Explorer app or on the Explorer app, you will not see it on your Mini 2. Unless you go hit the up or down arrow, then it gives you the option to go to navigation. When you click on navigation, you will see the map. All right, 
That's what I didn't know last time and I couldn't figure out. And I talked to Garmin, to one tech I talked to didn't know the answer. You know, Garmin's really good, but they don't always know everything because sometimes maybe the techs are younger and less experienced. And sometimes you'll get a really experienced tech who will know the answer, but this guy didn't know that. That's why I wanted to come back out here and test it. I either wanted to know that I couldn't see it on the Mini 2 when I started on the Explorer app, or I wanted to find out how to do it. So there it is. We'll see in this video, so it's not taking up all of your day. I know you appreciate that. Well, thanks for joining me here. If you have any questions, comments, advice, please leave a comment below. And thanks for coming out here, spending this time with me. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Well, thanks for joining me on this beautiful morning here in Colorado, and I'll see you back out here in the next video.